Good day everyone. Today I'm gonna be building 12 volt battery that will be able to start the V8 Camaro that I have. I'm gonna make it out of uh, live PO4 cells. Uh, there are A123s, 26650s. I was able to find uh, them on the eBay. They come in four different uh, modules like that. They're all collect connected in parallel. I also found the BMS. It's 4S BMS, 330 amp continuous on a discharge side and it can do over a thousand amp burst and uh, also was able to find the battery box that i would be able to package this neatly into so if you guys are interested stay tuned Live PO4 cells, they're ideal for the for the 12 volt builds because uh, they run a, a little lower nominal voltage of 3.2 volts compared to a uh, regular lithium ions. So uh, using uh, four of them in series actually matches the 12 volt battery's voltage pretty good. Uh, so the first step as far as these go, I have uh, 16 of them connected in each module and I'm going to connect each module together in series in order for me to have 4s battery uh, what i'm going to be using to connect these modules together is a nickel strip uh, the maximum uh, you can do through this nickel strip is about 10 amps per per strip piece uh, so uh, in order for me to have uh, 330 amps to match this bms i'm going to need to run uh, 33 uh, pieces of nickel in between each series connection. So I'm going to run one from here to here, from here to here, from here to here. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to turn this one over like this, uh, take uh, this uh, insulation off, and then I'll connect them together. And then I'm going to just kind of fold it like that. And then I'm going to connect the bottom together. And same thing, I'll use the folding technique on this side. And this is going to be main positive and negative of the battery pack. So I'm going to get going on that. All right, so spot welding did not work out very good at all. All I have is just this DIY spot welder connected to my battery and it was not doing the job. Uh, spot welds kept breaking off and uh, especially being inside the car with high vibration and all that stuff, it's unacceptable. So I ended up uh, scrapping that idea and used uh, some 12 gauge wire, it's a copper wire, and I ran nine different bus bars all the way across and uh, ended up just soldering them on. Uh, it's not pretty and uh, soldering is not ideal because it kind of heats up the cells and it makes them uh, degrade a little bit, lose a little bit of its capacity and stuff. But I was trying to kind of go with my spot welds in between the cells so I wouldn't heat them up as much. I was trying to do and go as quick as I could so I didn't heat up the cells as much. So that's, that's how it is. I already had the, this side done. I just did the same thing. I ran 9, 12 gauge copper wire which should be plenty for 300 and plus amps since it's just such a short distance just a couple inches or so so i did this and then i folded it over as you can see right here so this side is done and then i'm gonna do the same thing on this i'm gonna fold it over and then uh, i'm gonna connect uh, the bottom two together so it's gonna be connect from a main positive down to here from here over to here this one connects to that one, and then it's beginning to be the main negative of the pack. And I'll show you when it's done. All right. 
I just finished up all the series connections. As you can tell, the total voltage of the pack is 13.36 volts, main positive and main negative of the pack. Uh, just to recap, there is a series connection between a negative and a positive, then there's another one down here, and another series connection down here. I also tidied it up a little bit, so I put uh, some of these uh, insulators on the bottom just to kind of help uh, secure the pack so I wouldn't shirt out or get up against anything. So the next step would be the, to connect the BMS. BMS connects on the negative side of the pack. Uh, so the positive is going to go straight to the pole of the battery. The negative one connects to the BMS. And on the BMS, one side will say B- minus for the battery negative. That's what the side will connect to the battery. And the other side says P-, minus. that's the power output. And then that side will go to the pole of the battery also. And I'll show you what they look like on the other side. They're just... Uh, there's a couple Allen screws that will hold them in. So what I'm gonna use, oops, what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use uh, some of this 10 gauge wire. I'll do the three of them going on this side, three of them going to the BMS, and then uh, that wire is an eight gauge wire. I'll just run two of them. It's gonna go to the pole, and I'll also run some eight gauge wire. I have that blue one that's gonna go from the BMS to the other pole. All right, let's get going. Alrighty guys, it's all uh, wired up. Uh, another thing I did, uh, the camera died again there, but uh, another thing I did is they hooked up this balance cable. Uh, so these ones are pretty simple. You start with the black one. The black one always goes to the main positive. The next one over, next goes to the second connection. Next one over goes down here. Next one over goes here. And then the last one goes on the positive side of the battery. So this last fifth one right here connects to the top and I just soldered them on I also got this all covered up nice and uh, this plugs in to here and once that plugged in the BMS should turn on and we should be able to get voltage off of uh, both of the terminals right there so the next step, I'm going to uh, put this all in a box and take it out to the car, get it all hooked up, and then uh, give it a test run, make sure it starts up the car. I'll meet you guys there. Alrighty, guys, I got it installed. Uh, so this right here is a Chevy 383 stroker with 11 to 1 compression ratio, so it takes a lot of power to turn that over. And uh, so I got the connectors plugged in. Focus. There we go. So I'm gonna go turn it over and see if it'll start now, kind of moment of the truth. I haven't tried it yet, so you guys are the first one to see it. First ones to see it. Let's see if we'll focus a little bit. There we go. Everything 
lights up. And voltage light is right there. See if it'll start. It's been turning over pretty good. I haven't been started in a while, but as you can tell, it turns it over real easy. That's awesome. Sweet. All right, another thing I wanted to do is see how much weight it's going to save me. So this is the standard uh, lead acid battery. So let's see how much this weighs. 31.4 pounds. And this is our our battery. Oops. Hard to move one hand. There we go. Thirteen point six pounds. <laughs> so it's less than half of the weight. Huge weight savings between the two. All right, let's uh, take it inside and finish it up, button it up real nice, and we'll talk a little bit about it. All right, you guys, got everything uh, buttoned up there, added some packing peanuts to kind of keep the battery in place from sliding around and rubbing on things. Uh, so uh, the next step, we just put it back in the car and see how it works. Uh, I call this project a success. Uh, it seems to be uh, doing what it should be doing. It's starting that big V8 with a high compression. It's real hard to turn over. So it started that no problem, even after sitting for a while. Uh, it should last a long time being lithium iron phosphate chemistry. Uh, this, uh, these cells have like 2000 cycle life plus being, especially being in the car, it's not gonna cycle that much. They should stay charged up all the way. I checked the alternator current and then the alternator peaks out at 14.5 uh, volts, which is about 3.65 volts per cell, which is pretty, it's great for these cells. Uh, we are within the limits. Everything is uh, seems to be working, seems to be pretty good. Alrighty, guys. I hope you liked it and enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed uh, building this. I had a lot of fun. Hopefully, it'll last me for years to come. I've had that car for you know ten plus years and uh, always working on it. Always add new things to it and stuff. So this is going to be a great new addition uh, to my Camaro. I'm going to get it all bolted in there, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.